Truma, makers of the combi heater and iNet system, are proud to sponsor Practical Motorhome TV. Welcome to Practical Motorhome TV, your one-stop shop for buying, owning and getting the most from your motor caravan. If you're after van and site reviews, plus friendly technical advice, then you've come to the right place. Coming up on the show, Diamond Dave will be telling you everything you need to do to get started for summer, and we'll have van reviews from Bailey and a dealer special from Marquis. But first, we go to the NEC to check out a brand new model from Auto Campers. Auto campers are camper conversions from Roywood Transit in Berkshire and up to now they've been converting on the wildly popular Ford Transit Custom, the Leisure Van and the Day Van. But what if you're a fan of VW? Are you catered for? Well hang on, what's this? A brand new conversion of the MRV on the VW T6. So what are the advantages of having the MRV on the T6? Well, quite simply, it's a pop top, plus Auto Campers has lowered the suspension, and that means this van will creep in at under two meters, making it ideal for car parks. You can also have automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. And there's another feature we really like. Yes, sliding doors on both sides of the vehicle. So you can take the kitchen side of the party into the great outdoors. How good is that? There's a tabletop flap that lifts up on the other side. There's also a drawer fridge, and that's in addition to two gas burners and a sink. But the most important thing of all is get your priorities right and brew up. Now, MRV stands for Multi-Use Recreational Vehicle, and this is perfectly viable as a daily drive. If you don't want to use it as a camper and you prefer to do some load lugging instead, then this bed assembly lifts out of the way and you can load items in through the back. And very good for dogs too, because they can get right into the heart of the van from the tailgate. And thanks to these handy rails in the floor, you can put three seats in the back. There's also a couple of other fixtures and fittings in this particular van, like a handy shower attachment at the back, perfect for keeping dogs and children clean. And as well as the bed in the rear, there's also the option of having another bed up here in the pop top. This Auto Campers MRV will start from £47,500, and for some people, only that T6 badge will do. For everyone else, of course, you can also order it on the Ford Transit Custom in the high line or the low line roof option. So, Auto Campers has got all the bases covered, and you just have to say, Happy Days! Many people forget the importance of servicing chassis servicing in particular. We've talked about habitation inspections before. This is the chassis side of things. So the base vehicle, engine, gearbox, batteries, filters, brakes, suspension. It all needs checking and inspecting. Oil and filters need changing on a regular basis. I would recommend annually. Some people think that they can get away with two year servicing because the likes of Fiat and Ford nowadays are saying up to 20,000 miles between services but that's for vehicles that are in regular daily use. Motorhomes typically spend a long time standing around between being used. That doesn't do them any good. The oil contains contaminants from the combustion process that are harmful to the internals of the engine. So it needs changing on a regular basis. So what needs doing on a regular service? Batteries should be tested. So this is a battery tester. This will test the current capacity of the battery. So we'll test it at 700 and it's giving 703 amps, so that's good, that's healthy. No problems with that battery. Brake fluid needs checking for moisture content. Brake fluid is hygroscopic, it attracts moisture out of the air. So we test it, this is a simple tester, just tests the electrical conductivity. If there's water present, it will conduct electricity and the lights will show us that the fluid needs changing. That's all good. Pretty sure it would be because we changed this one not long ago. Power steering fluid, check the level, that's all good. Also at that end of the engine is the cam belt for vehicles that have got cam belts. They need changing on a five year basis typically, 80,000 miles, so they'll always need doing on age rather than mileage. 
Obviously, this is not intended to show you how to do the jobs, but these are the jobs you would expect a garage to do during a service. Coolant needs checking for antifreeze content. This is a simple hydrometer. We take a sample of the fluid up and the float tells us what the temperature protection level is. That's good down to minus 30 degrees, so that's all okay. Then a new air filter. We've already changed the fuel filter, which was up at the back, and just topping up the windscreen washer fluid. As I said, these are the kind of jobs you would expect your garage to do during a service. They will also hopefully take the wheels off, inspect the brakes, check all of your suspension joints and mountings, check the chassis for corrosion, check brake pipes for corrosion. Pretty basic stuff really, but a large part of it that needs doing annually. Oil and filters definitely need doing annually. As I said, the oil holds contaminants from the combustion process that are harmful to the internals of the engine. If you don't change it regularly, it turns into soup and it gets really nasty and there's all sorts of horrible problems crop up later because you didn't have the oil changed. So I would say an annual service is a must. It costs you a few hundred pounds, but on a vehicle that's worth 40, 50, 60,000 pounds, why wouldn't you invest in maintaining it? I hope you found this helpful. See you next time. The Bailey Autograph 68.2 is the sixth addition to the range, which is brand new for 2017. It's a fantastic new innovation and it rides on the Peugeot Boxer with the very latest Euro 6 engine. This particular model is interesting because it's 6.79 metres long and it's 3,500 kilograms MTPLM, so perfect for couples that want to keep things relatively compact on the road. Another noteworthy feature of this range is the fact that it rides on the Alco AMC Ultra Low chassis. What does that actually mean? Well, it means the distance between the motorhome and the ground is relatively small, so you don't need an entrance step to get in and out, and that is a very good thing. Now, this isn't the only rear lounge model in the range. You could have the 79.6, which also has a dinette up front, but that has an MTPLM of 4,250 kilograms. And that's why the 68.2 is so good. It doesn't have the dinette and it tops out at 3,500 kilograms, so anyone in the family can drive it on a standard car license. And because there's no dinette up front, this is where all the action happens, right here in the rear lounge. Now, Bailey watchers will know that the Autograph range replaces the Approach Autograph range. And one of the key things Bailey set out to do in this new lineup was to create a real feeling of space and width in the vans. And as you can see, it succeeded. Because I'm not even trying to stretch out here, there's still plenty more of this space I could squeeze into. So down at this height, there's plenty of room. And if you're standing up, the effect is the same as well. These aero style lockers have been carefully engineered to create a real feeling of width and I think that Bailey has really succeeded in this particular endeavour. Now the other advantage of impressive girth in the lounge is that you get a whopping bed to go with it and in this particular instance it all slides across over here using Bailey's excellent dream sleep system. We'll get onto that in a minute. But the bed itself is 2.12 by 1.56 metres which is king size in anybody's book. And at meal times, you just collect this folding leaf table from the wardrobe at the front, and hey presto, it's time for some cordon bleu. Now this midship's kitchen is quite compact, but it's well laid out. You get these great drawers with a soft closing action, and some worktop that you can expand with this handy flap at the end. There's a combination oven and grill, and dual fuel hobs, and up above, these are the aero style lockers and you have to say that is a very pleasing action. The only slight thing I don't like in this kitchen is the sink. I just think it's a little bit utilitarian. I would like something that's more sympathetic to the overall design. On the other side you have a large fridge freezer with a microwave above it and the microwave is just at that threshold where it's a safe height to use. 
forgive me, I've just been using the shower compartment and I'm happy to report it's over six feet tall with double drain holes in the floor, just in case you didn't manage to level the motorhome the night before. And it's also got a very handy clothesline for drying wet clothes. In the middle here, you have a swivel loo and the vanity unit in the corner, just check out that bowl and smart mixer tap straight out of a boutique hotel. And that's in addition to a half length mirror and a cupboard next to it. Now, if you forgive me, I'm just going to get back to my ablutions. Now, I mentioned earlier that Autograph rides on the latest version of the Peugeot Boxer, and that means it's a Euro 6 compliant engine, a 2 litre unit that Bailey has upspecced to the 160 bhp output. All very good indeed. A couple of other things to note in the cab, the drinks holders from the Fiat Ducato actually appear on the Boxer now, and that's truly excellent. And that's to go with that head unit, a 2,399 cost option as part of the Media Pack Plus that also gets you that TV in the rear lounge. Now, a quirky feature of the new range is this back panel. It's very Germanic to my eyes, and I'd imagine would be quite a draw if you were stuck behind it in traffic. The other distinctive feature of the outside is the through boot. That basically means a small garage to allow you to load canoes, fishing rods, snooker cues, any other long things through the back of the van. The Bailey Autograph 68.2 starts from £49,995 on the road. The version we've been looking at with the leather upholstery and the Media Pack Plus is just under £54,000 on the road. So if you're looking for a two berth, end lounge, British built, coach built, three and a half thousand kilograms MTPLM, and one with a payload in the region of 451 kilograms, then this should be near the top of your list. In fact, if you like the look of this particular autograph, then why don't you put your signature on an order form? Sadly, that's all we've got time for in part one. But don't go anywhere because we've got more cracking van and site reviews coming right up. Truma, makers of the combi heater and iNet system, are proud to sponsor Practical Motorhome TV.